Hello, my name is Tom Morton. I'm a professor in computer science at the University of Virginia. I'm giving you a welcome and introduction video to the course Tools of the Trade, uh, which is being offered here in fall 2021 to students at the University of Virginia here in Charlottesville, where I am, and also to students at the University of Virginia at WISE down in WISE, Virginia. So um, I've got slides and we're gonna talk about the syllabus and what's involved in the course and sort of introduce you virtually uh, to the students who will be your instructors over the semester. So let me share my screen with some slides and you'll have access to these later on in case you're nervous about that. Um, so we're really excited to have you involved in this course. Um, this is a little bit of a, a kind of a pet project between me and a professor at UVA Wise, my colleague Jacob Somerville. We are collaborating on this course, offering it to students at both universities. And so the idea of this course came out of some discussion among um, us about our students and discussion with some of our industry partners. Um, the goals of the course, we'll, we'll talk about those in a moment, uh, we decided were pretty important to us. And so we sought some grant funding from the State Council of Higher Education of Virginia, known as CHEV. This is the overseeing body for uh, all of the universities, all the public universities in Virginia. And, um, and they funded this course, the development of this course. They paid for the TAs and some of the materials we used, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, we based this idea on a student taught course that was given at UVA a couple of years ago. So we can't really claim to have the initial idea on this. But we've taught this now uh, in fall of 2020, uh, spring of 2021, both online. And so this, this fall of 2021 version, also online, is our third version of this course. Um, as I said, it's jointly offered. We, we like to have student instructors from both schools. And this year, we couldn't find anybody from UVA Wise who wanted to help us out. So our three student instructors who I'll introduce you to, they're all from the University of Virginia. Um, we'd like to continue this, and we'd like to get students at other universities and other community colleges even in Virginia um, involved in this. The course is really designed for a certain group of students, and a lot of students who are in um, schools that are that are sort of outside of Northern Virginia and some of the bigger cities may be good candidates for what we're trying to do uh, for this course. Uh, what are we trying to do for students in this course? We're looking for students who want to study computer science. We want to catch them earlier in their studies. And we're looking for students who, who haven't had the kinds of opportunities or experiences at high school before they've come to college that some of our computing students have. And so we've explained this to you as you applied for the course, but this is a really important goal for us. Um, here in Virginia, there are parts of the state where the schools are great and there, there are high tech industries and there's parents and family and friends who do computing. Um, some of the schools will have uh, AP courses, sometimes multiple AP courses, sometimes even other kinds of courses. And so students who come through those kinds of backgrounds come to the come to the university, either at, here in Charlottesville or WISE, and they know a lot about computing and they've had some background. Maybe they haven't had all the courses that we require students to take, but they know something about computing that a lot of students don't. Students who, who didn't see that in high school, who didn't decide to study computing until they got to college, um, and so this course is sort of designed for that latter group. All right, so um, the course website, if you're a, a student in Charlottesville, you're used to something called Collab. And we tried Collab back in fall of 2020 and, and the students at WISE said, ooh, this was really horrible. Uh, and guess what, Collab is pretty outdated. <laughs> so in spring of 2021, we tried Moodle, which is another course management system. It's the one they use at WISE. And so uh, it worked much better and we'll show you Moodle and, and you UVA students will get a chance to see what it's like in other parts of the world. Uh, and you can complain about Collab more often maybe. So, you know, these are all kind of the same, they'll do the same thing, but Moodle's a little bit more modern. So we have this link to our website. I'll take you there in a minute. Um, hopefully you, you've got that link from a syllabus or from an email or something like that. But if not, get in touch with us because you have to sign up there to sort of, um, to get all access to the course materials. So this is really an unusual course for a couple of reasons. One, it's, it's student taught. So um, after today's lecture from me, lecture, introduction from me, um, you probably won't see me again. You probably won't see Professor Som Somerville. We might pop into a panel discussion or something sometime, but we have student instructors who will be um, leading you through the different activities. Um, there are challenges. We have students from two universities right now. Maybe, maybe we'll get some more this semester. I don't know that we will, 
Um, in the past, we've had staff from different schools and there's multiple students running this course. So it's a little bit different. It's, it's kind of a, a strange model. Um, the good news is that none of this really matters too much because the course is designed to be fun and interesting and motivating and the stakes aren't very high. We definitely want you to participate because we think you'll get a lot out of it, but it's not like um, this is a graded course in a core subject area. So let's go to that Moodle site for a second before I introduce you to the, the TAs. Um, when you go to Moodle, let me log out here too. When you go to Moodle, um, if you don't have an account, it's your first time here. And that's gonna be true for all you UVA students because unless you're taking a course at UVA Wise, you, you're not on their Moodle system. So you'll create a new account here. And um, Professor Summer will make sure you're added to this course. I already have an account, so I'm gonna log in with my account. I'm gonna do something here is the course, it's called Tools of the Trade. There's an A by it, um, I forgot what the A is, but you'll see that, that Talia and Sarah and Jacob and Javier, who's not listed there, they're all listed as teachers. Last semesters has some other people there, but you don't want them. If you see that, that's, a bad, that's bad. I can view this as a something besides a, gosh, where did I go? All right, I have to go to the course. That's why I'm not seeing that. I want to view it just like you would view it instead of as an instructor. I want to show what this looks like as a student. So you can see Moodle looks a little cleaner than our, our UVA collab system. Uh, down on the left is sort of uh, shortcuts to different different modules here, different, different components. Uh, but on the main page, you'll see, for example, announcements where you'll see, we don't have any announcements yet, but when they are, they'll appear, appear there. Um, you'll see um, a forum where you can post questions. You can see a uh, the link to the syllabus, which we'll go over in a second. Um, I'll talk about some of these things later on, but then you'll see various things here. So for example, today's lecture is the intro material. And so you'll be able to click on the, the video introduction to this course. In fact, that's probably how you got here um, by clicking on that. And of course the slides are gonna be available here. And there's a, another page that talks about some of the tools we might be using through the course, um, all of which are free and all of which are um, um, pretty easy to, to use and learn. So um, let's go back. Um, but you'll see a, a weekly um, sort of activity. There's typically gonna be a, a video lecture, maybe two, sometimes three. Um, there's going to be something for you to do, which will be explained either in the video or through a handout here. And then there's a way to submit these things. Some semesters, uh, some weeks, there'll be additional resources, things you can read to sort of learn additional material. So we want to sort of introduce you to some topics, uh, ask you to do something that's pretty simple to, to help you sort of um, get a basic understanding of that topic, and then provide you a way of learning more if you want to dive deeper into it. And so um, right now, a bunch of things. This is stuff from last spring. We haven't really updated this yet. So we're really just going through the first couple of weeks here. All right. So that's our Moodle site. Um, eventually, there will be a calendar on here where you can see office hours and other kinds of information. Um, information about how to contact your TAs. Here we've got information about Sarah, but not the others. The others are still adding their stuff here. Um, so give us a, a chance. We're sort of getting stuff put together. And um, uh, so this, this site will get richer as we go along. Okay, let's go back to the slides. So why don't we talk about the TAs since we just saw Sarah's name. So Sarah is one of our, our student instructors. I'll call them TAs sometimes. And you can see a picture of Sarah. She's a fourth year double majoring here at UVA in Econ and CS. She's from Bahrain originally interested in economic development, software engineering, data analysis, and a real interest is in creative kinds of things like photography and video graphics and usability and user interfaces. The other two um, student instructors are both graduates of this class. They're veterans. Uh, they both went through it last fall, I think. So Talia Miller is a third year here in computer science and statistics here at UVA. She's from Northern Virginia. She's also teaching a, a big class that uh, many of you might be taking here at UVA 2150. 
And, you know, she said 3240 and 3330. So you may be seeing Talia in, in 2150 in classes. And she cooks and reads and watches movies. And our third, third TA is Javier. Javier is a fourth year um, in computer science here at UVA. She, he's also from Northern Virginia. He's taking intro to security and computer architecture. He likes cooking, exploring, and video games. So he appears to be exploring on the side of a mountain right there. So we've been meeting now for about, about a week, maybe 10 days. And uh, I think we got a really good team. Um, so these are the ones you'll be interacting with most. Now I've got to say, um, one of our goals for last year was to develop a set of materials that could be reused. And so this year, when you watch the videos, probably most of the time, maybe all the time, you won't be seeing these three. You'll be seeing the, the TA, the student instructors from spring of 2021. And that's, that'll seem a little weird maybe, but um, um, that was our goal, was sort of to create reusable materials that we could, we could use in the future. So Javier and Sarah and Talia, they'll be managing the course. They'll be answering your emails, holding office hours. They'll be checking that you submitted your work. They'll eventually be assigning your grade, uh, but they may not be the, the video stars that you see when you watch things on YouTube. All right, so I mentioned the syllabus. So let's go over a couple of things on the syllabus. Um, you can think of Professor Somerville and I as sort of the course managers. Uh, if there's any kind of problem with the course, with the TAs, anything where you feel like you need to talk to someone other than one of the student instructors, do, do not hesitate to let us know, to get in touch with us. We'd be more than happy to. We're gonna meet with them every week, keep track of what they're doing, but they really are in charge. This is a student taught course. Um, here at UVA, all the 1501s in the engineering school are student taught courses. And that means they, they really have full responsibility for all the kinds of things that goes on in a course usually. Like I said, making sure the website's updated, making sure um, you know what your grades are and where you stand, making sure that stuff gets graded, et cetera, et cetera. So there are three student instructors with their email IDs. And so don't hesitate to get in touch with them. Um, as you know, it's a one credit pass fail course or credit or no credit. Um, and uh, when you do contact either the students or us, please put the course number in the subject line so we know, you know, we spot that and know what the email is about because we all get lots of email, you know that. You've seen the course description I've talked a little bit about it before. Um, students early in their computer studies, an introduction. And so that's important too. We, we, we selected students for this course who didn't appear to have a lot of experience. Um, of course, sometimes people slip through and they've got more experience than we well, hope they would have. And it's not because we don't like you if you have experience. We just think you'll be bored in this course. Uh, if you've already seen a lot of GitHub and other kinds of things, uh, we're gonna sort of cover the basics and the intros and help people get started. But those of you who've had a lot of experience may, may find that this isn't what you were expecting. Um, so a high level knowledge of these skills and a chance to practice some things with some people to help you out. And this goal is to sort of help you in uh, professional settings like internships uh, so that you've got a little bit more confidence when you're, you're uh, applying for an internship or when you start that internship that you've seen some of these kinds of things. Um, so that's our goal here. Uh, that's who we want to be in this course. And we're going to try to evaluate through surveys, uh, mostly, you know, what kind of difference this course made for you. So if you already started off where you already know everything, um, the course isn't going to have a big impact and our evaluation is not going to be very helpful. So I've already talked about the Moodle stuff. Moodle stuff. Um, again, that's at UVA Wise. So Jacob Somerville whose email is at the top, is the Moodle master for, for this course. So talk to him if there's any kind of Moodle issue. Um, our student instructors last year found a great, I uh, found it was really good to sort of have a group me, a way for students in the class to sort of connect with each other and chat about things. So there's the link for the group me discussion. So we'd like everybody to sign up for that. Our video lectures. Um, so this is gonna be a not a live course. It's gonna be totally delivered online. Uh, it's asynchronous. There's nothing live. There might be one thing live in the middle of semester, and that's an industry panel. We'll try to schedule that when people can come, but we'll also record it and you can watch it afterwards. Uh, but it's sort of a Q&A with a bunch of people from industry. So that's the only thing we plan on being live. Um, everything else is going to be watch it whenever you want to. It's going to be hosted on YouTube and there'll be links from the Moodle site. Uh, office hours, there'll be office hours, but they'll be done with Zoom. And uh, everything's going to be available through the course website. 
So right now, um, they've got one hour of office hours set up. I'm, I'm expecting they will add some more. But uh, Tuesday from 7 to 8 p.m., be that Zoom link. And the TAs have said here, they this is their document, so they've edited a lot of this, that uh, they're happy to meet with you outside of time, outside of one of those times. So connect, connect with them by email, and they'll figure out a Zoom time to meet with you. Again, who do we want taking this class? Um, students who are early in their curriculum. So here at UVA, CS2110 is our second programming course. I think it's CSC2180 is kind of the same level of course at WISE. And so we're looking for students who come right out of that but haven't had much more, if any, computer science, maybe discrete math or something like that. But we're looking for people who are, are sort of taking uh, UVA's data structures class right now. Uh, and at WISE, whatever it is you take after CSE 2180. Um, you wouldn't be watching this unless you, you connected with us about applying, but if someone else was watching this video with you and wants to do the course, they need to sort of do what's listed at the top there about getting involved. We always like to talk about course goals. You, you've seen them by now. Uh, we want students to be better prepared for industry experience like internships or projects, give you a broad introduction to some technical skills that are used in software development to give you exposure and experience in professional development activities. So some of what you're gonna be doing in this course is, is stuff to sort of make yourself a, a more um, experienced professional in the computer science. Uh, so we're gonna sort of ask you to do things like, like improve your resume and, and go to some um, um, you know, industry panels. There's a whole list of things. We'll talk about that in a second. And by doing all this, we really wanna see your confidence and motivation about computing increase. Um, again, it doesn't mean that everyone who lacks experience is, is lacks confidence also, but we're hoping by exposing you to some of these things, you'll feel much more comfortable um, going to a hackathon or talking to someone about a summer job or internship or talking to a professor about a research project. Um, before you might not have seen a lot of things and you might think, I just don't know enough to be able to do that. And we're hoping to sort of get you a little higher up the ladder on, on those kinds of experiences. There's no textbooks. You do need a computer where you can install software and access the internet. Oh, well, it's kind of hard to take computer science without that, right? Um, you've got to be able to do Zoom and stream videos and all that sort of stuff. Um, your computer can be a Mac or Windows or Linux. When we ask you to do some coding, we're gonna, we're gonna ask you to use VS Code, which is an IDE that runs on all of those. It's a pretty simple IDE. And so um, you'll get some experience with a new IDE if you've never used VS Code before and some experience installing some software. Nothing super challenging, but, but this will let us sort of allow you to work on whatever computer you want to. So our schedule, um, we'll show you this in a second, but, but I wanna talk about this in a second. There's going to be sort of weekly lessons, and, and typically there'll be a video, um, we'll demonstrate something, there'll be some kind of activity, we call it a guided activity, uh, which might be sort of like what you see in a computer science lab here at UVA, maybe 2110, where it's like, do this, try that, install that, you know, see if you can do this, what does it say when you do this? So nothing as challenging as what you'd see in a, in a programming assignment in a typical computer science course for majors. So they're really fairly simple activities. And like I said, we're gonna to try to give you more information to help you go farther if you want. So there'll be optional resource, resources. So again, it's a one credit pass fail course. So we're not gonna ask, we're not gonna give you killer assignments. Some may involve a little programming, but they're not gonna be large coding assignments. And so if you're struggling with coding and all that, do not be shy about asking for help. Uh, the goal here is to sort of help you guys learn and get some experience. So the first week's lesson, um, which is available now, is all about a resume, making your resume better, and, and creating a LinkedIn profile if you don't have one, and getting some of the information into it that, that's going to uh, be useful as you sort of try to sort of put yourself out there later on uh, for a job or an internship or something like that. Week two and week three are, are GitHub kinds of things. Um, and so um, you'll see then, um, this is a sort of rough schedule of what we're gonna do. And there's a deadline for when things are due. So the assignment's listed there on the Moodle page and we want it turned in by that date. I'll talk more about that in a second. So we're gonna do some GitHub. There's a, after that, um, something on software testing. Using uh, libraries with APIs and writing programs that make use of those, that's, that comes next. We're giving you a week off, kind of around UVA's fall break and UVA Wise's fall break, um, such as they are. 
uh, there are different times, so this the schedule may not quite match up with your date, but there are there is some time off there. Then we're going to set up an industry panel that may change. We have to see when the industry people can meet with us. Then two two lessons on databases, and then at the end, um, this these last two things may change. We may make some changes there, and we're going to finish this up before Thanksgiving. There's going to be really ten weekly assignments for this one credit course. Uh, and then along with that, some professional development activities, which you'll do kind of throughout the semester, and you've got to sort of have them all done by the end of the semester, December 6th. So when Thanksgiving comes around and it's time to eat a lot of turkey and visit relatives and also time to study for finals and all the rest of that, you'll, you'll have this course um, wrapped up and some time to sort of turn in the last things. So let's talk about the grades. Um, it's pass fail, but we still got to make sure you pass, right? So there will be these 10 assignments. Um, you don't have to do them all. You only have to do seven. You have to pass seven of these to get a pass in the course. So you can't just do five. You can't, you don't have to do 10. Seven or higher will get you a pass and you'll submit them on Moodle. Also to pass, this is sort of an and, um, you've got to do eight points of what we call these professional development activities. And there's a list I'll show you in a second, but you may look at this list and go, oh, that's, that's interesting. Oh, but here, this thing has come up. There's a seminar I want to go to. Maybe that could count as a professional development activity. And we're very open to that. You've got to just talk to one of the student instructors about that. And so we want to, um, the goal is for you to spread these out through the semester. Uh, and then you've got to write a little report about what you've done and turn it in by December 6th. All right, so I'll say more about those in a second. The very last thing is we may ask you for some survey information. Like I said, uh, we got funding to support this. Part of the funding is we need to know how well it worked. The only way we can even know how well it works is if you will tell us. And so um, um, because of the way this course has been created and set up, we need the survey stuff. So that'll be required. Um, let me talk about professional development by going to that link here. So there's kind of a, a fun system set up for this. When I say fun, it's not as simple as you might have thought. Um, you got to get eight points. And some of these activities are more effort or time than others. And so, um, um, for example, you might go to a 12 hour or longer hackathon and you might go to some workshops, you might submit things. We've got some links for, for how you could do that. You might go to a technical workshop hosted by an organization or a club. And these kinds of things, those are, you know, those aren't super hard. You might be doing them anyway. And if you do one of those, you've earned three of your eight points. Okay. There's things that are worth less points. Um, you might go online and find a tutorial on something you're interested in. You might create some little side project with an API. Um, something small, something interesting. If it was really huge, you might talk to the TAs and say, hey, can I get three points for this? Um, you might write a little summary and post it on Moodle and you can get two points for that. There's a bunch of smaller things you can do. You can't obviously do eight of these maybe, but but uh, there's some coding exercises on a site called Leap Code. There's some um, Handshake is a system here at UVA where you create a profile um, and enter in information about yourself and, and companies with jobs will try to match you against them, their needs. And this works for internships and full-time jobs. I believe UZA Wise is also using Handshake now, but if not, we'll, we'll figure out what the alternative is at Wise and you can do the same thing there. So this is what we mean by professional development activities. These are just things you do that aren't courses that are kind of outside that might Things like practical practice interviews or resume workshops or, or learning a tutorial or connecting with an alumni or, or doing a side project or being in a hackathon. These are things that are going to sort of um, help your chances of getting an internship, help you develop kind of practical skills, the kind of things that you don't normally get in, a, don't always get in a CS course from one of us professors. So that's the story on those. And the one thing I want to say is you got to do unique things. You can't do two hackathons. Um, so, so you can't sort of duplicate stuff. We want a sort of breadth of things. So that's the professional development part of this. Okay. All right. What about grading? Well, you're going to turn something in and hopefully you're going to go to satisfactory. And that means it's done. You've passed it. 
Uh, but there's two other alternatives. You might get an incomplete, which means you just didn't do enough effort. You did very, very little, or you just didn't do it. So incomplete's kind of like, well, that's one, you know, they missed. But there's something in between. There's something called an unsatisfactory. It means you attempted it, but it's not quite complete or it's not fully accurate, but you turned something in. And it could be like almost complete, or it could be like a third of the way complete, but at least you made an effort. So what's the deal on why do we have that thing in the middle here? If you got an incomplete, we'll let you turn it in late. Incomplete, remember that means you didn't do anything. Um, so, ah, dang, I forgot that deadline. I just didn't get it in. Well, you've got a two day grace period to turn it in late. All right, so let's say you do turn it in either late or on time. Oh, and by the way, you can only use that for two of the two of the 10 assignments. Okay, but we always encourage you to submit something by the deadline because if you've got an unsatisfactory, you can continue to work on it for a week. You get a week to sort of submit it again for a regrade, all right? So you see how this works? If you, turn, if you do a little bit or do a fair bit, but it's not quite good enough, you got another week to work on it. If you did nothing, you've got two days to turn something in, but you can only do that for two of the weekly assignments. Okay, so if you have questions on that, uh, talk to the student instructors. Um, here's the story. We really want the course to be about you learning something and getting something useful out of this. It's, it's not about the grade. We, we don't want you to sweat grades. We really want you to do all these things. That's why you got to get seven out of 10 activities and you got to do at least eight points of professional development. So we really got to do something, but we really want it to be all about learning. So if you're struggling with the assignments, you know, ask for help, ask for, ask for suggestions, uh, reach out to the student instructors, or if you don't get um, through to them, you can always talk to us too, but, but the course is being run by the student instructors. All right, um, we're really close to saying all I wanted to say. The rest of the syllabus, I'll let you read on your own. Like all syllabuses or syllabi, we reserve the right to change it. Uh, we will let you know if we can, but, um, but if we don't, don't blame us. We, we're gonna try to change it. Um, let me say a little bit about academic integrity or cheating. Um, you know, we really hope that's not an issue in this course. The course is pass fail. Uh, it's all based on completing assignments. Um, they don't have to be perfect. Um, we don't think we'll see cheating because your motivation, you're taking this course because you want to try to get better at something. <clears throat> so there will be ways you can work with other students and the, and the TAs will explain that or you'll ask them if you're not sure. So just do the right thing. This, this course, you know, don't, don't be a bad person. Don't try to game the system. Um, do the right thing. Both WISE and Virginia have special accommodations for students with, with disabilities. And so if there are issues with those, get in touch with, well, get in touch with probably the professors and uh, let us know and we'll work with the students on that. Here at UVA, we also have statements on power-based personal violence that we'd like everyone to pay attention to. We make accommodations for people with religious issues that we need to make accommodations for. Um, like we said, we have to sort of uh, review some things. So we may, um, the surveys data, we may make anonymous results from that as part of our reports on this, or maybe even some publications on how we did it. It won't impact your grade, et cetera, et cetera. Both UVA wise and UVA don't tolerate sexual misconduct or harassment. So all the usual stuff. All right, well, this is where I would normally take questions, but it's a video, so you can't ask me questions. Um, so if you do have questions, uh, get connected on the Moodle. You can ask questions there on the forum, email the student instructors, they'll help you out. But welcome, we're really excited to have you joining us. This, this course has been fun for two semesters and the students have gotten a lot out of it. So uh, we're excited to be able to offer it to you all again. So with that, I'm going to say goodbye and farewell. Um, like I said, from here on out, it'll be mostly the student instructors, but Professor Somerville and I are really excited to have students from UVA and UVA-wise in the course this semester. Take care. Bye.